All right, guys and girls. So today I'm going to answer my most asked questions about the GoPro Quick app. I've made a couple of videos on the GoPro Quick app. I did this one here where you can find out basically how to use the app and all its features. It's so like a walkthrough of the app. And this one here where I show you how to edit videos from start to finish in the GoPro Quick app. And what I've done is I've gone through all the comments underneath both these videos and I've come up with the most asked questions and I'm gonna answer those for you today. So let's jump straight in with the first question. And that is, what are the best settings for editing in the GoPro Quick app? Now, this one is a bit subjective, but for me, I would say shoot, edit, and export in 1080p if you're going to be using the GoPro Quick app. Reasons for this is file size. You're going to be editing it all on your phone, although phones have come in a long way and they continue to expand their memory sizes. I would say you're still going to struggle editing 4K video unless you've got shed loads of memory on your phone. So my advice would be to shoot, edit and export in 1080p if you're going to be using the GoPro Quick app. You can edit in 4K. If your phone has the capability to do that, then by all means give it a go. But I would say you're going to get a nicer editing experience with 1080p and 1080p. It's perfectly fine for social media still. So that would be my advice on that one. Next question I get asked quite a lot is, can I turn on my GoPro with the app itself? Simple answer to that question is yes. If your GoPro is linked to your app, then you just go to control your GoPro and it should just flip your GoPro on as it has on this occasion. So yes, so if you've got your GoPro set up and you're a bit of a way away from it, then you can use your app just to power up your GoPro. To power it off, you just hit the standby button in the top right hand corner and it will say power off your GoPro, you go to power off and it will pop it on standby for you. So you can turn it on and off directly from the app. That's the answer to that question. Next one is more of a cry for help than an actual question, but I do get asked it quite a lot. It's why can't I connect my GoPro to my Quick App? Most of the time it's a pretty straightforward process. You'll just connect it via your phone. Occasionally they don't find each other, so you do have to do it via the actual GoPro itself. So if I just load up the GoPro here, you're just gonna go to preferences and then you've got connections check that your wireless connection is on and then you're just going to go to connect device and then hit GoPro app and then that will link you up pair the two and then you shouldn't have any problems after that so that's what you do if you can't find your GoPro via the app itself link the two via the GoPro okay so that's the answer to that one next question how do I transfer my footage from the GoPro to the app okay so I've got various media here and some are just on my finger random okay but there are some clips on here that i want first of all i'm going to click this icon in the top right and i'm going to select the clips i want okay then i'm going to hit download and it's going to download them onto my app now if we go to media on the app you can see we now have these clips on the actual app itself so that's how you get the clips from your gopro onto your app. Okay, so the next question is probably the one I get asked more than any other. Can I get multiple edits from one clip? The simple answer is no. You can only top and tail clips. You can't cut clips into two and then use different parts of the clip, but there is a workaround. So, and it's really simple. All you do, okay, so say I want to use the speedboat bit for that. Click tick, but I want to use a different bit as well, then all you're gonna do, you're gonna click done, and then you're gonna click plus, and you're gonna find that same clip on your app, import the clip again, move that clip to wherever you want it to be, and then you can just go in and trim that clip and use a different part of the same clip. So you basically just import the same clip twice, do one edit with one clip, another edit with the other clip. Unfortunately, you can't just cut the clip up and use multiple parts, but you can import the clip again and do it that way. So that's the workaround. Take it or leave it. The next question I get asked a lot is, can I remove the GoPro logo at the end of the video? Really simple, yes you can. It's really easy to do, I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so you just go to the very end of your video where the GoPro logo clip is, click on that, and you'll see a little disable button at the bottom. Just click disable. 
done. And now at the end of the video, there's no GoPro logo. Okay, so really simple. That's how you do that one. Okay, so can I use my own music on the GoPro Quick App? No, you cannot use your own music on the GoPro Quick App. The reason you cannot use your own music is because each song that's used on the GoPro Quick App has its own sort of data file, so it knows where to cut the video to what parts of the track, etc. So if you used your own music, it wouldn't have that data behind it and the app wouldn't work as it should. Now, I'm sure there are dodgy ways of doing this, but in general, no, you can't use your own music, is the answer to that question. Can I mix my audio with my music? No, you can't. Now, that is a bit annoying because that would be a nice feature if you could mix some of the audio with the music. But unfortunately, you can't mix the two at the moment. But what you can do is if you go to music, you can go to the very left and click on no music and then you will just have the audio from your video. Now this is just some radio playing in the background. So yeah, you can have the audio from your video. So if you'd rather just have the ambient audio, you can switch off the GoPro quick music and it will edit the music, but you won't actually be able to hear it. Or you can have the GoPro quick music on. So there are your two options. No music, GoPro quick music, patatas, potatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. You get the idea, one or the other. Music, no music, they're your two options. Can I do simpler, no frills edits with this app? No, you can't. It's not what this app's designed for. It's for action cams, quick cuts, transitions, glitches, all that sort of thing. It's not just designed for a no transition, fairly uniform video. It's just not that sort of app. So no, you can't do it. If you want to do something like that, I'd choose a different editing app, something like Premiere Rush. There's loads of free editing apps you can use uh, that will do simple edits for you, but this ain't one of them. No frills edits, no go quick. Can I add text to my videos, Neil? Yes, you can. Show you how to do it. So to add text, you do it by individual clip. So say I wanted to add some text to this clip. I'll just click on the four dots at the bottom. I'll go to text. And I just type in test. Done. Save. Save and overwrite. Edit has been saved. Got it. Now when it plays back, when it gets to that clip, it says test, you see? And that, my friends, is how you add some simple text to your video. So you do it clip by clip, basically. I've kind of already covered the next one, but it's can I edit 4K footage in a GoPro quick app? Yeah, you can, but it does depend on whether you're using your iPhone, iPad, how much memory you've got, the processing power, all that. Well, like I said before, I recommend 1080p, but you can edit 4K footage, but just make sure that your phone, iPad, smartphone has got enough memory to be able to do that. Otherwise, it's just going to be really, really annoying. Nothing worse than lagging edits. I hate it. That's why when I use a GoPro Quick app, I always use 1080p because the footage is good enough and you don't have to worry about massive file sizes and clunky edits. So, yes, you can edit in 4K. No, I wouldn't edit in 4K. The answer to that one. Is there a desktop version of the app? Can I do this on my PC? No, not anymore. You used to be able to. There used to be a desktop version, but that has gone now, I believe. Like I said, this is designed for editing on the go. So having a desktop version kind of defeats the object, which is why they don't really have one anymore, I believe. And um, so no, GoPro Quick App no longer has a desktop version. That I know of anyway. I'm pretty sure I'm right on that. I don't think it does. All right, the final question. Uh, can I use older GoPros with a GoPro Quick App? I believe the answer to this is yes. Uh, from the GoPro Hero 2 onwards. I put up this information I found from GoPro uh, that basically lists all the GoPros that you can use with the GoPro Quick App and pretty much all of them. So you shouldn't have a problem with any of your GoPros using it with the GoPro Quick App. That's it from me for this one. 
My other GoPro quick videos have been quite popular, so I just thought I'd do this one to address some of the questions I get asked a lot so that you guys don't have to trawl through the comments to find the answers. If you have found this video useful, please do give it a thumbs up. It shoots it up the old algorithm and I've made it, you've watched it, so why not give it a thumbs up? If you're not already, please do consider subscribing to my channel. There's more GoPro quick stuff on there. Also, Premiere Pro editing tutorials, gear reviews, all that sort of thing. So channels grow nicely, but it's always nice to have some new faces on board. So please do hit that subscribe button, ding that notification bell or whatever you do with it so that I can let you know when new content comes out. That's it for this one. Hope you found it useful. Keep asking those questions and I'll do another one of these when I have enough questions to answer. But that's it for this video. I'll catch you guys soon.